So you want me to talk directly into the camera? Okay. Denise is one of millions of women in Britain, mid-50s, post-menopausal, seemingly invisible to many. But Denise is not invisible. She's a woman with many facets, a complex woman, a real woman, a woman of Britain. My name's Denise, I'm 55 and I live in Southend. Denise was married to Terry for 16 years. Unfortunately, Terry lost his life last year, and now Denise is a widow. Terry used to enjoy historical reenactments. He would spend his weekends doing that or doing Laser Quest. I went with him on the last historical reenactment he did because it was just down the road in Two Tree Island, and I was in the crowd filming when he took part in his jousting competition. Unbeknownst to Terry, his plumed helmet was not fastened correctly and the other competitor's lance was not as blunt as it should have been. Mercifully off-screen, the lance went clean through Terry's temple. I actually felt more sorry for the marshals than for myself because there was a terrible mess to clean up. A few weeks after Terry's funeral, Adrian from PC World got in touch with Denise. He ended up being of great comfort to her in her hour of need. Adrian introduced me to social media, which I love. I love a boomerang. They're so much fun. I love seeing an egg cracked and then uncracked over and over. It's hilarious. It transpired that Denise was very good at VR games, specifically Astrobot. She noticed a look of disdain on Adrian's face when he realised she was better at it than he was. I cannot bear disdain on a man's face, so we are no longer in touch. I enjoy being alone. There's no pressure, no hassles. It's just me, Denise, alone. I said goodbye to Denise as she was practising her line dancing. I knew she was strong. I knew she was a woman of Britain. And therefore, she would be okay.